Assalamu alaikum viewers, this is Atif Rahman with another episode of Twin Cooking on Twin TV. Today with this Eid al Azha special, I have something very very special that I want to share with you guys. It's quite of a family tradition for us to eat these uh, this delicious dish as soon as we come back from the mosque on every Eid. Uh, it's called Namak Beef Boti. Uh, I don't have an English name for it so you can just call it Salty Beef Meat. So come on in and let's see the ingredients. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So viewers, for the first step, I am taking 1 kg of beef. Uh, it's mixed between boneless pieces and pieces with bones. So you're not limited to just one type of uh, uh, criteria of meat. Then I have 1.5 teaspoon of salt to taste, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of pepper, 1.5 teaspoon of coriander powder, half cup of oil, one and a half tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste and one and a half tablespoon of vinegar white vinegar and then i'm just taking a half piece of cinnamon stick three pieces of cloves and just a few pieces of uh, uncrushed black pepper so now let us move on to step two which is the marination all right, viewers, so for marination, only thing we need is salt. So we'll add the salt first, then the vinegar, and ginger garlic paste. And now we will just mix it well. So as you can see, it's a very, very simple marination, but trust me, try out this recipe and you guys will definitely enjoy it, inshallah. All right, so once the marination is complete, just place it in the refrigerator for about two to three hours. And then once that time is over, then we'll move on to the next step, inshallah. All right, now the marination time is completed. So now we will move on to the next step. I have taken the pressure cooker and uh, the, I have turned on the burner uh, between medium to high flame and now it's ready for me to put the oil in first. So we will add that in and then we will add the cinnamon sticks and the cloves and the uncrushed black pepper and then we'll just stir it uh, with the and also the cumin seeds. And then we will stir it for a few minutes. All right, so now as you can see, the cumin seeds have started to change color. They're starting to look a bit browner. So now is the time to add your meat into the pressure cooker. This is why I got money on here. And then along with that, just add your black pepper, crushed black pepper, and the coriander powder as well. And then just stir it for a few minutes. So we will just keep on stirring it until you see the meat start changing color. As you can see it started to change color but we will just give it a few more minutes. Okay as you can see the color has changed quite nicely. So now I am just going to add about 500 milliliter of water which is half a liter. And then just mix it for a few seconds. And now, I will cover this with the pressure cooker. I will close this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then it will continue afterwards. Well, here you go, viewers. Our delicious 
Namak boti, beef namak boti is ready. It is very tender, very delicious. So come on in and let's try this out. Well, here you go viewers. There is the final product. It is extremely delicious, very tasty. You can eat it with rice. You can eat it with roti, but the best way to eat it is just like this with a fork. It's extremely tender. You do not need any type of dipping sauce with that. So just try this out this Eid al Azha with yourself, your family and your friends. And let us know in the comments below if you did. Until we see you again, take care and a very, very Eid al Azha Mubarak to you and your family.